Hello again. Now the main stories in London. The Labour Party's candidate for Boris Johnson's former West London constituency has said the upcoming by-election is all about the cost of living. Danny Beals has been campaigning for months in preparation for the election, one that will now come even sooner due to Boris Johnson stepping down. In his resignation letter, Mr Johnson said he was sorry to leave what he called his wonderful constituency. Beals believes he is ready to take the reins. Well, we've been campaigning since January. I was selected in December. We've been out week after week, spoken to more than 5,000 people already. Um, so, yeah, we're kind of ready to continue, um, yeah, step up even more. At the moment, overwhelmingly, people tell me that they're worried about the cost of living. Um, and this is cost of living election. I will be a local full-time Labour MP. The capital experienced a wave of hot weather today with the highest temperature recorded in Heathrow, 30.5 degrees Celsius. There is a current heat warning and despite the sunshine, there's also a yellow alert for thunderstorms until 9pm. Lots of people were seen soaking up the weather in parks. We asked some of them how they are making the most of it. Yeah, we went, we went and played golf earlier and then got my, got my iced coffee now. It's lovely. Lots of hydration, um, beers and uh, plenty of water. Oh, it's amazing. I've come down from Yorkshire for the day, so it's really nice to feel the sun. <laughs> it's lovely, it's hot, it's nice, there's a load of people out, it's all good vibes, so yeah, it's great. Meanwhile, London Fire Brigade are urging people to enjoy the warm weather safely. It's warning against the use of disposable barbecues in open spaces, as they can easily cause grass fires in hot and dry weather. It's also highlighting the dangers of barbecuing on balconies. Well, the baking heat proved too much for some soldiers as Prince Williams uh, reviewed his troops in London earlier today. Three soldiers fainted and were taken off on stretchers as the Prince of Wales carried out what's known as the Colonel's Review. The ceremony involved hundreds of horses and soldiers. Prince William later acknowledged the difficult conditions. Uh, we'll have uh, the full weather forecast in just a moment. But next, this year marks the 160th anniversary of the capital's most famous train, the Tube. To celebrate, Transport for London have restored one of the longest serving vehicles. Alex Izzat went to take a ride. This could be any Tube journey across London. But this vintage train isn't taking passengers to the next station. It's taking them to the past. The vehicle has been restored to its glory days when it first went into service in 1938 and is on the rails for the weekend to celebrate Transport for London's 160th birthday. The rolling stock was the first of its kind to put electrical equipment under the floor and went on to take passengers around London for over a decade. It became the kind of template for the tube train for uh, 50, 60 years after that. All all subsequent trains follow the canon. It'll continue to shape the way London works and the way Londoners think about themselves for, for generations to come. Heritage events allow enthusiasts the opportunity to see beautifully restored trains up close. These four cars are complete with green and red seating, grab handles and distinctive Art Deco light fittings. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. Very hot as well. Vintage, very vintage. The sounds, the smells. Nice experience. Lovely to see that train in action. When the underground first opened in 1863, trains only went along one line. But as London grew, so did the network. And now it's an integral part of life in the capital. To ensure it runs for at least 160 more years, TfL is looking to invest in the service. Bringing new trains into the Piccadilly line for the DLR uh, and of course uh, continuing to upgrade the signalling on the subsurface railways to provide more reliable, more capacity for Londoners. Of course all of that underpinned by safe and reliable services. Although the new trains may be faster and have more capacity, there's nothing like taking the chance to go back to the past and experience the thrill of a classic journey. Alex Isaac. ITV News. 160 years and I'm still going strong. Uh, now, with the sunny spells continue, James Wright has the full weather forecast. Feels like home, whatever the weather. Valent Boilers and Heat Pumps, sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather. 
Hi there, good evening. Hot sunshine today and hot temperatures. Uh, highs of around 30 Celsius, 86 in Fahrenheit. Uh, the sunshine added to that very warm air from the continent, triggering the shower, some of them quite heavy. And as we head through the next few days, whilst things remain very warm, high pressure way to the north of us should start to make things a little less humid. It's still very warm, but hopefully less showery too. Now, the yellow warning from today eases off at nine o'clock, but there's another one in force from midday tomorrow tomorrow. Generally dry across the overnight period, one or two rogue showers around and a little bit warm, particularly in town with lows by the end of the night, bottoming out at around 18 Celsius. Now, as far as tomorrow goes, sunshine from the word go won't be too long before we start to see more showers developing. And by the time we get to around lunchtime, like I say, we have another yellow warning in force for thunderstorms. Quite heavy, slow moving tomorrow. And if you catch one, it's set to be torrential. So we might see some surface water flooding issues. And once again, like today, 30 Celsius the high, it's 86 in Fahrenheit. Head towards the Thames Estuary for something a little bit cooler. And then a repeat performance on Monday. Uh, fewer showers from Tuesday onwards. Bailent sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather. Hello, Summer. Piri sponsors ITV Pollen Count. Pollen-wise, we've had very high counts today, and that's the picture for the next few days. We're at the peak of the grass pollen season, and also for weeds such as plantain, nettles and dock. Have yourself a good evening. Yeah, make sure you watch out uh, for those thunderstorms. Um, that is it from us for now. Uh, I do hope you managed to find some time to enjoy the sunshine. Uh, have a wonderful evening from all of us here on the London team. Bye-bye. <laughs>